With Oticon in 10, our users will have more cognitive capacities available so they can engage in life without feeling exhausted at the end of the day. My name is Valentina Zapata Rodriguez. I am a senior researcher at Oticon. For me, as a researcher, the most interesting part of this study was the evaluation of listening stress. We know from the literature that noise actually can affect heart rate. So when we go into a noisy environment, our heart rate can actually increase, and this is connected to listening stress. So we are perceiving a more stress due to the change in the sound environment. Uh, but this has never been before tested with hearing impaired users or actually uh, the effect of the hearing aids on listening stress. In this study, we put a lot of effort into designing a listening test that was closer to reality. So we wanted to increase the link between naturalistic testing uh, in our lab. So then to do that, we collaborated with the Technical University of Denmark and the Erlsson Research Center. And what we did was to use virtual reality and room acoustic simulation to uh, simulate a typical uh, listening scenario, being at a party or like a dinner, where you have multiple concurrent conversation happening at the same time. So the participants, what they have to do was first to locate a specific story that it was coming from a visual avatar that they could see on the goggles, the VR goggles. And then once the participants locate the avatar, so they had to stay still, and then now they will hear a news clip. And then they needed to stay still paying attention to this a news clip. And then at the end of the news clip, they would answer a question about the content. So then this is similar to uh, the common listening scenario, right? So then you locate and then you pay attention to the conversation, this intimate conversation that is happening. Also, with this setup, what we wanted was actually to test Oticon intent, how the user will use it in daily life. In this experiment, for us, was very important that the users could actually move. So then it was closer to the dynamic that we actually encounter in real life, like in conversation. And the results were remarkable. So we found a, a significant reduction of, of up to 31% on listening effort uh, based on the relative change in the mean pupil dilation. And also we found a reduction of 40% in the mean change in heart rate. And with this monitoring heart rate, we evaluated the listening stress. So for our users, this results means that Oticon Intent provides personalized listening support that supports the brain re by reducing listening effort and listening stress. So our users can have more cognitive capacities available to do other things during the day and engage in life like never before.